Hey there everyone, Ray of Nox here. This video will be about the vistas in Lona's Pass and how to get to them. You can see the links on the screen to each vista and as usual I'll start with the harder vista video guides and finish off with the guides to the easier ones. Then show the vista views edit together at the end. This zone has quite a few vistas and several of these are pretty tricky to get to. By the way, there are two vistas around False Lake. You can see in the links, I named them appropriately. Hope this helped you. See ya! So for the Venison Pass Vista, we start off at the Vangierstead Waypoint, head past the Norn Camp and up the mountain path, full of Etin. Etten are slow anyway, so it's easy to run past them. Just avoid the big slams they do. For the last bit to get over the tricky rocks here, you move up the big rock that seems like it's too slippery to move up on. It takes a few tries to get to the right spot, we are at the highest part of the rock and can jump on the top side of it. From there it's easy to jump down and get to the vista. For the vista at Demon's Maw, we start off at the Demon's Maw waypoint. Another tricky rock formation here. We're gonna jump down a little bit on the rock in front of the waypoint, then move towards the vista through the smaller rocks. And keep going until we reach the vista. For the vista at Nentor Valley, we start off at the Nentor waypoint. Head straight past the minor camp. Then go up the hill to the rock where the vista is on. Find the right nook to start jumping up the rock. And from there it gets a bit easier to keep jumping up to reach the vista. For the vista to the left of Reaper's Gate, we start off at the Lamentation Waypoint. This vista isn't that close to any waypoints really, so I decided to start off at the Lamentation Waypoint and jump down from the skill challenge.
From here we head into the dredge cave to the right. There are quite a few dredge in this cave, but luckily I only get knocked down once at the start of it. So once we're out of the cave, we head up the rocks and on to the right. And there's the vista. For the vista at Chillwing Perch, we start off at the Mist Riven Waypoint and head east. It's pretty straightforward from here, if we don't slip off the path. Then from here we head up the mountain, there's a nice slope here we can run up, then a small ledge we can jump up on to get to the vista. Just one more jump left and there's the vista. For the vista at Ice Devil's Needle, we start off at the Ice Devil Waypoint. Head further into the cave, walk past a few miners. Then take a right up the ramp here. Take another right and jump on the rocks there. Then onto the platform where you can see the vista already. We just gotta jump onto the beam here and onto the pole for the vista. For the vista at the pirate ship in the false lake, we start off at the false lake waypoint and head towards the pirate ship. Lucky for me, I recorded this when the quaggan was captain, so all the pirates are friendly. Go over the walk bridge and take a left here and there's the vista. For the vista on the mountain to the left of the pirate ship, we start off at the Cascade Bridge Waypoint. And I hope for you that the bridge isn't collapsed by pirates, otherwise you're gonna have to start off at a further waypoint, like the Gutras Homestead waypoint, or take a swim to get to the other side. So once we reach the mountain where the vista is on, we start scaling it at this point here. And now it's just a bit of jumping to reach the vista.
For the vista at the Falls River Valley, we start off at the Winterthal Waypoint. Start heading north towards the hill the vista is on. We have some nicely laid out rocks we can jump on. Then find the right angle to reach the top, and there's the vista. For the vista at the Durman Priory, we start off at the Durman Priory Waypoint, right by the Skill Challenge. We start heading up the walkway towards the vendors. Jump down towards the vista behind the vendors here. Then find the right ridge to jump on. And there's the vista.